Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Democracy 3 and we have been challenged. We are going to turn Canada, that's right, Canada, into a capitalist utopia. So, a place that the wealthy can hide out and, uh, and survive without being taxed too much and just having a good old time. Let's go ahead. So, we are going to play as the Republicans. Yeah, I think that's, uh, that's pretty apt, considering, uh, considering the circumstances. And we're going to be against... The Social Democrats, why not? Let's have a term limit of three hurricanes, earthquakes, monarchy. Yeah, this all seems pretty good. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so as I've mentioned, we are going to try and make Canada as capitalist as possible. That means pro-business, anti-workers' rights, anti-unions, anti-socialist, all that good stuff that that comes along with being a capitalist country or a heavy ca heavily capitalist country I should say okay congratulations 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 on your election victory welcome to your new job as prime minister thank you 33 million citizens okay so we have an all right gdp bad health good education all right poverty all right unemployment and crime that is too high so clearly we have a lot of problems to sort out Okay, we have 26 political capital, we have income that is higher than our expenditure, which is exactly what we like to see. So, what is this? Rail strike. Hmm. Labor laws. Okay. Rail strike, we can't. Pro-union, we need to be pro-employer, don't we? Hmm. It's gonna cost. That's gonna cost twenty points, though, and that's not exactly what we want. Um, okay, so we need to be trying to get rid of corporation tax, inheritance tax as well. So as you can see, we're liked by quite a lot of the socialists, but uh, but we're not doing much that that capitalists like. Hmm. We could cut unemployment benefit. We don't, we don't have enough political capital yet. We don't really have much political capital at all this turn. Which could be a little bit of a problem. What else? Child benefit? Yeah, that'll go as well. Um, Cancel the policy. Yeah, let's start off with that. We'll save instantly 3.08 billion. So, that's something good to uh, to stop. State pensions, I doubt we'll have enough to lower that. It's going to cost us 49 to to cancel the policy. Mm, okay. We'll see what we can do. Um, can we have a look at our cabinet? Yes, we can. Everybody's looking pretty strong at the moment. Yeah, everybody's looking pretty good. Apart from the fact we have a lot of trade unionists, socialists in our... Uh, in our midst, we need a lot of capitalists, conservatives, and you know, if we if we can't avoid them, then we'll we'll take some liberals, but uh, but hopefully we 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 can we can try our hardest to uh, to make this a capitalist country. Okay, debt protection law allow agencies to operate. Budget surplus: five point three six billion Canadian dollars. Nice. Okay, 10% popularity. That's another important fact. We do have five years, which is 19 turns to make our case. But at the same time, that's not going to be very long. Okay. What else can we do to appease the capitalists? Corporation tax. What's our corporation tax at, at the moment? 10 billion. I think we should probably cancel this policy straight away, um, as it'll be a major sort of blockade to business, and uh, and we don't really want that. We need to try and get our GDP up. What is uh, what's retracting from our GDP? Capital gains tax. Yeah, this is going to get scrapped next turn. It's going to cost nine to scrap, so it's not going to be that difficult to do. So definitely a priority. Okay. Armed religious communities. Are you kidding me? Handguns. Oh, goodness. Uh, it doesn't really matter, I suppose. Total ban. Let's... 
we don't even have enough political capital to do that. Like, wow. Freedom of information. Um, this won't affect... This will not affect uh, capitalists. How's our GDP looking? Looking pretty bad. Expenditure has just gone above income. Debt's increasing a little bit. The global economy is, is starting to come down, so that's not great, but hopefully we can uh, get out of that sticky situation. Yeah, uncompetitive economy. Productivity. Maternity leave. Okay, maternity leave is uh, is getting absolutely slashed. In fact, let's let's cancel the policy. Can we cancel it? Yeah. Okay, now hopefully we just don't have enough money to uh, get rid of. What were, what were we going to get rid of? Was it capital gains? It's capital gains, yeah. Hmm. We'll get rid of it next turn, for sure. What's this? Asthma epidemic. What else? Capitalists are definitely on the increase, which is what we like to see. There's still an awful lot of stuff that they don't like. I think what we're going to need to do is is repeal an awful lot of policies. Like, a major amount of policies. Superhero, that's great. Credit rating downgraded. That's not good. But crime is on the decrease for some reason. Budget deficit of uh, five and a bit billion. That's no problem. How can we get rid of that? Well, instead of getting rid of the capital gains tax, let's get rid of something like the unemployment benefit, which is costing us money. That's, that's not going to save that much money, though. Is there anything else that we can... Pensions. Pensions, we're, we're paying out a lot. We can cut that back a lot. And hopefully, event eventually cancel that let's let's do that for now um, and that'll that'll get us above board in terms of finance and then perhaps we can look at housing yeah let's look at housing next uh, next quarter okay speed limits uh, no change budget report this is, we've got a tiny little surplus polls do not look good four percent the last election capitalists aren't happy with us at the moment okay let's let's get rid of this um this capital gains tax that we that, that doesn't really do anything for us providing a little bit of income income tax yeah we are gonna uh, get rid of that as soon as possible it's bringing us in 49 million only costs 13 to cancel though so we've got to keep that in mind and um, let's think about cancelling that closer to the election when it'll do the most good for us sales tax could lower this but it's an important source of finance at the moment we have 16 points let's let's look at what we can do limit automated trading no no limit no limits Yeah, no limits on automated trading. Whoa. Yeah, let's let's completely get rid of that. Okay. Um what else? Clean energy subsidies. You're annoying the capitalists. Let's get rid of you next turn. Can we? No, we don't have enough capital at the moment. But next turn, that's on the agenda. How's our cabinet looking? Yeah, you ain't looking so good, are you? No. Neither are you. Surprisingly, the people that, you know, are trade unionists and socialists seem to actually give us the most political capital per turn, which is unusual considering, you know, the policies that we've that we've enacted or the policies that we've cancelled, should I say. Oil drilling opportunity. Yeah, we're gonna allow drilling there. A small budget surplus. That's uh that's a good little bit of flexibility. We seem to be very close to the line. GDP is not as high as I would like it to be, considering we're we're pro investment at the moment. Okay. Clean energy subsidies, cancel this policy. Yep. Save us a little bit of money. Um agriculture subsidies. Yep. That that can go as well as soon as we uh, as soon as we have the political capital for it. What else? So we really want to sort of 
lean down the government. And I think that's the whole idea behind, you know, capitalism and sort of conservative styled government. We make it purely investment, you know, let private business do what it wants. Hmm. Anything else that we can do? Agriculture subsidies are gonna go next turn, as I've already said. What's this? Pollution. Yeah, we need to try and get this down a little bit. Car usage. We can try and decrease car usage, but we'll do that later. Let's see if there's any interesting policies we can introduce. Perhaps enterprise investment scheme. That could be good. What we're more looking for is something like uh, mortgage tax relief. Not quite. We definitely don't want a mansion tax. Hmm. Any is there any small business grants that could work? Could work well. Business startup campaign. Yeah, you know, let's implement that and let's let's fund that fully. That'll make the capitalists a little more happy with us. See if there's any other sort of investment si investment styled stuff that we can do. Young entrepreneur scheme. Yeah, let's do that. Let's implement that. To the max. Um, anything else we can do for two political capital? Both of these would be good. And both of these we're going to enact for sure because it's all pro business. So we should see a massive jump in capitalist support next turn. Good. You, yeah, okay. Welfare minister, you're not too happy. Religious condemnation. Wow. Okay. Little budget surplus. That's good. I like that. I like I like a budget surplus. Okay. What else? What else can we do? Young entrepreneur scheme. National business council. State housing. We can't cancel it. We don't have enough political capital. We need to uh, clearly get rid of get rid of some people let's just have a reshuffle a complete reshuffle okay so we need tax okay does anybody want the tax job does anybody want the tax job that is capitalist yet yeah. anybody better than that Um. let's have a look don't want a trade unionist. We want conservatives, capitalists. Okay, so you're gonna get we're gonna get you in. Foreign affairs. Foreign policy. Yep, you look good. You're getting the job. Welfare minister. Once again, we want somebody conservative, religious. Yeah, you're alright. But hmm, anybody else? Yeah. Let's give you a shot. Industry. Okay, so economy, capitalist, yes, we want you. Public services. Conservatives, capitalist. Anybody else? Public services. Anybody want the public services job? Nobody that's really appropriate. Yeah, I think we'll hire you. Law and order. Anybody else? Anybody else? You. Public services. We should have got you for public services. Hmm. Oh, well. Transport. One more capitalist person. That's all we need. No, nobody. Okay. A conservative is going to have to do. Yeah, okay. You, yeah. Okay. Good. Very happy with that. We have one poor guy, but the rest are uh, are looking pretty good at the moment. See if we can act, enact, enact, enact any more uh, pro-business policies. Trade Council, yeah, we'll fully fund that as well. Can't hurt. Capitalists, uh, are liking us a bit more. Middle income, they could prove the key to winning the next election. And uh, elections are, you know, pretty important. Chancellor resigns. 
I'm sort of glad you resigned. You're a bit rubbish. I don't know why I picked you. Because you're a capitalist, I think. Anybody else? Anybody that wants the job? Somebody decent? Oh, yes, hire you. Why not? You're pretty good, but you're not going to like it when I cut them... Um, when I cut farming subsidies, that's that's not exactly what you're uh, you're gonna like. Credit rating upgraded. That's what we like to see. Little budget deficit, not a problem. Government is not popular. Really, really not. Crime, unemployment, everything is going bad that could happen. We're gonna see if we can uh, if we can pull it back in the next episode of Democracy Three. Ladies and gentlemen, my name's been Obed Potato. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, them, make sure to smash that like button. And subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!